Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video I'm excited to do, I'm going to do it about all my favorite coats, jackets, sweaters, outerwear pieces. Um, if I had unlimited funds, I think coats and jackets are my favorite thing to purchase. I just love them. So some of these items are new, some I've had for a while. Um, some are definitely more expensive, they're investment pieces, but I wanted to put the video up before Black Friday because you can probably get a pretty good discount on some of these things. If you watch my last video too, until the end of November, you can score another 5% off Yorkdale Mall. So make sure you watch my last video um, to see about that. But I think I'll start with the sweaters. I have them here first and then I'll talk about jackets, coats, and also blazers. And I'll try to link everything in the down bar. If the item is not available, I'll try to find something similar. And just for reference, if you're new here, I'm 5'9", so I'm pretty tall. Typically, if I wear something fitted on the top, I would take, I would say, a size medium. So go by that, and yeah, I'll show you everything. The first sweater is this gorgeous white oversized faux mink cardigan. It's very long. So this is from a small company in Canada. So it's nice to support small businesses when we can. And the brand is called Iloani. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. I believe, I want to say that's maybe the girl's name that runs this store. So, oh my God, I'm so impressed with the quality of this. I was searching for something like this. I'll show it to you on. Can I just say this is going to be under $100? Um, I believe too, you can get a discount the first time you buy from her. It is so heavy. I couldn't believe it when I picked up the package. I feel like I just grabbed a four pound weight. I feel like it probably weighs maybe a few pounds. I'll show it to you on. It is so soft. It's like a cozy oversized blanket. It's great. Say if you just have like a bodysuit on or black leggings. It's just a comfy thing that you can wear around your house or out, obviously. Um, this would be better for fall weather. There's only one size, so it's kind of one size fits all. It is very oversized. To be honest, if you're very petite, this might not work for you because like I said, I'm 5'9 and it's still pretty big on me. So here's that nice fluffy sweater. You guys, it's so heavy. It feels like a weighted blanket. The only thing, I wish it had pockets, but it's not a big deal. Oh my God, it's so, so cozy. Um, it doesn't have how to wash instructions on the website or in it. So if any of you guys out there know how to wash this properly, I guess I can look it up. But yeah, it's just like a nice cuddly hug. I love it. I feel like when we're allowed to travel again too, this might be something that's like really nice to wear on the plane um, just because it's almost like a blanket. And yeah, it's just so cuddly soft. This would even look cute. Like if you had a cool belt, I think to wear over it, if you wanna have like a nice like winter look, that would be cool. Kind of on that same faux mohair um, type of idea, I got this at Zara recently. I picked it up in the size large because I noticed it looked a little bit cropped. I, I didn't want this too cropped and just in case if I wanted to layer something underneath it. Um, so typically I could have fit into the size medium. I just sized up to the large for reference. And this was, I think, $39.90 Canadian. And it's just a nice beigey color. I think I wore it in my last video. It does shed a bit. So if you wear it with black, just keep that in mind, unfortunately. But it is a pretty good price and it's very soft, it's not itchy at all. You guys have probably seen me wear this quite a bit. This is from Aritzia, the Wilfred Free line. This is size medium. This is the Maryland sweater. They have this in tons of colors. It's just a nice cuddly zip up. This reminds me of like a teddy bear brown. I love it. I think that they sent this to me, I wanna say last year or I can't remember, maybe two years ago. Um, anyway, I have worn this lots. It still looks perfect. It doesn't shed at all. I would really recommend it. And for Black Friday, I know that they always go on sale. So definitely pick this up and this fits true to size. So next up, I got this from Aritzia. It's from their TNA line. So this retails for $88 and I got size large. This fits pretty small. So definitely I think you should size up one because um, the large isn't, the large I find fits me perfectly. Um, I really like it. it has the little um, kangaroo pocket there. It's the three-quarter zip. It's very nice fall piece. The only thing, I still have the price tags on it. 
After I bought this, I went to Old Navy. They have very similar ones there for maybe $45 or $50. So if you like the look of this, um, but you don't like the price, because I think this is a little overpriced for what it is, um, definitely check out Old Navy. But I really, really do like this on, and um, I think I might keep it, because the Old Navy, they had different colors. But yeah, this, I just wanted to tell you, because this is probably a popular piece there, but you definitely, in my opinion, I think you should size up. So I wanted to mention this piece from North Face because my friend told me recently, I didn't know about this, he told me that um, any healthcare workers, you can get 50% off a lot of things at North Face. So just go on their website and you'll see at the bottom and how you apply to get the discount. So I got this nice, I saw this at Nordstrom one day and I felt it and it felt so silky smooth. It's just like a classic black zip up. Um, and it has, it's really hard to see because it's black and black. North Face is embroidered on the front as well as the back shoulder. This is just a nice layering piece. They were out of almost every size. I had to get size large, but I actually need a medium. This is a little bit too big. It fits too loose, but it's okay. I'm not picky because it's just, you know, something to wear on a walk or say if you went for a hike. But I did want to mention something from North Face just because you can get a discount if you're a healthcare worker. So next up, I'm going to show you, these are my favorite oversized zip-up sweaters. They're from Brandy Melville. I believe there's two sizes. I get the larger size, um, but I could definitely fit in the, the smaller one because they're very, very oversized. They're very thick. They're around $50 Canadian. I kind of forget. Um, I believe when they first came out that they only came in one size, but now they have two sizes. So they're very, very heavy, really good quality. Um, it's just for me perfect oversized fit. I've had the ones from Aritzia the boyfriend one I destroyed one of it um, But to be honest, I prefer this one. So I got this nice kind of like washed out um, blue turquoise color and also I have a black one that I've had for a really long time It's kind of like a little bit of a faded black. It comes like that. They also have like a brown um green, navy, there's a few other colors. To be honest, there's like a kind of like a camely color. I think that I would want that one as well. Um, to be honest, I like every single color, but yeah, this is a very good Christmas gift too. If you don't know what to get for a girl, I find, you know, anyone would really like this. Here's the black Brandy uh, Melville hoodie. So you can see it's just really nice, thick material. I like that you can kind of tuck it under and it puffs out and it stays like that. I hate when sweaters, if you do that, then it falls out. So these are just that perfect oversized hoodie. Um, I don't really like that the black one is gray inside, but whatever, it's not a big deal. The blue one matches, love it. I'll show you the blue one now. And there's the blue one. Okay, next up we're gonna get into some jackets. I got this one from Zara. So online it told me to order size large. I need a medium in this, but to be honest, I don't mind the oversized look of it. And if say I wanna layer like that really heavy Brandy Melville sweater under it, maybe the large would be better. But my boyfriend told me that like, you should go get the medium. To be honest, I'm kinda lazy. I don't really wanna go back there. Um, and so I got size large. It retails for $99. On the tag, it says this is good for, the fabric is good for minus 15 degrees Celsius weather. So that's nice, because a lot of things from Zara, they look nice, but they're not actual, they're, sorry, they're not actually warm. So it, this is just a black oversized puffy jacket. It kind of, I can't really tell you, almost the material feels a little bit rubbery. Um, kind of like those Aritzia super puff ones. I will say I had maybe three or four years ago, I can't remember, three winters ago, I had a black super puff and I did really like it. I liked how it looked. Um, I believe I got a size small in that one. They fit a little bit big. But I washed it once kind of halfway through the winter and it, like all the material inside pilled together even though I dried it with a tennis ball. So I was just really kind of upset. It didn't last more than one wash and it just looked clumpy it didn't look nice and then some of the um materials started coming out so i they've probably redone them since then so don't go by what i'm saying but that was just my experience so that's why i didn't buy one again and to be honest this is quite a bit cheaper this was only 99 dollars, and it really like it feels almost like a big cuddly duvet so i really like this piece 
So next up, I have a denim jacket that I recently got at the Bay um, here in Toronto. And in store, this was on sale for $44.80 Canadian. I couldn't believe it. So I sized up. I tried on the size medium. That fit true to size. I wanted a very oversized fit. So I sized up two sizes. I got an XL. And it's just their classic, I don't know if it says on it, oversized trucker jacket. I looked online when I got home that night and they were still $128. So I don't know why it wasn't marked down online, but if you live in Toronto, go check it out. Stuff like this, Levi's especially goes on sale crazy at the Bay. I feel like probably no one buys anything full price at the Bay because they have such good sales. Um, yeah, it's just like that light wash. I had wanted this one for a while because I got the XL. It comes down longer. It's just perfect. I'll show it to you on this little hard to show but I couldn't believe that that was a steal this is a classic you'll have this your, your whole life I don't know if you guys could find this because I got it on sale um, sometime during quarantine at Saks because it's from Alexander Wang it was originally oh my god I can't remember like six or eight hundred dollars something crazy I got it for like around two hundred dollars Canadian it's like bright green. This is kind of almost like a shacket type shirt. I got um, so many compliments on that. I wore this a lot this summer. And yeah, if you could find this online, I'll try to find it, but I really like it. It's very soft denim material. My all time, I think, favorite item of clothing I've ever bought that I've got the most use out of it, I swear, in the last couple years. I'm not probably exaggerating. I've worn this a hundred times. It is my black um, Totem Loreo blazer. It is a size medium, so it fits true to size. It is that perfect, perfect black oversized blazer. Look no further, invest in this one. It retails for 800 and something, but I got it on sale. You can usually get it on sale for 500. I, at that time, had never spent that sort of money on a blazer. My boyfriend's like, no, no, it looks like a good piece, invest in it. I'm so glad I did. I would pay full price for this, you know, many times again. It is just fabulous. I get so many compliments on this. Anytime I don't know what to wear, sorry, look a little put together, I throw this on always 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 I love it this also comes in a cream color which I'm lusting after I can't really I mean I don't really need it but I know it will probably go on sale soon so yeah I just I adore this blazer I wanted to say if like something like that totem blazer is not in your budget and that's perfectly fine I totally get that um, what I did, and I really, really love this piece, so I love shopping on eBay. Actually, the jacket that I'm wearing, um, if anyone cares, it's from eBay, and I got this. It was brand new. This is like a vintage Bob Mackie jacket, and it still came like there was paper covering the buttons. I believe I got it, I want to say $50 or $60. It was definitely like a decent amount under $100, and I love it. It's kind of like a jacket. It has pockets. Um, it also came in other colors, I could see, but um, I just wanted this one because it was brand new condition. It is like a little bit, I think, faded maybe from the sun up here, but I didn't mind. I really, really like it. It's just a unique piece that nobody else will really have. Um, so definitely check on there. You're going to get some cool things. So the blazer that I got, so my little trick is type in, um, you know, whatever designer brand you can think of, type in men's oversized blazer. So this is a vintage Christian Dior men's blazer. So when I got it, it was extremely oversized. I think I showed it in a video, like it came, the shoulders came out to here. So I got this for $35 Canadian, I wanna say. So to get it dry cleaned and tailored, um, the lady told me it was quite a bit of work. I think it was around $60. So for under $100, I got this beautiful Christian Dior blazer. And I'll show it to you on, she um, she took in the shoulders a bit, she brought in the waist, um, what else should, did she do? Something with the lining, opened up the pockets for me. It's awesome, like it looks really nice. I wore it the other day with a black turtleneck and this layered over top, it looked really, really nice. So here's that men's and Christian Dior blazer. So the tailor did a beautiful job, that's when it's open. She took it in a little bit here to make it more feminine. And I specifically asked for her to still keep the shoulder extended a little off my shoulder. Um, but before it was like probably out to there, it was too much. 
and I love it. And you can also do it up like that. And the inside is, it's very nice material. So next up, I have this long Sherpa or shearling type coat from H&M. I believe this was $99 Canadian or $79 US. So at first I got the light gray one, but then I saw this one, so I returned the gray one. But to be honest, I think I should have kept the gray. I liked the gray on me better. I think the white one is sold out online, but there is a very similar one at Zara right now that I'll try to link below. And they do have the gray one back in stock. So it is oversized, so I got size small. And it's like this inside. The, my only thing is though, the gray one didn't really shed, but I find like this leaves little fuzzy things on my black clothes, but it's not a big deal. But this is really nice and warm and it's a great transitional piece. It's not quite warm enough for winter. Maybe it would be if you layered like a hoodie or something underneath, but it's just kind of like perfect for the weather right now. My last two pieces I'll talk about are definitely investment pieces. So I have the, the Max Mara teddy bear coat in that light tan color. Um, if you didn't see my video last year, you, um, this was a gift for my birthday from my boyfriend, but we saved, I think, $3,000 Canadian on it by buying it in Italy. So yes, this is a beautiful piece. I'll, I'm sure I'll have it forever. I love it. It's so cozy. Like, I love it. But is any coat worth the price that this is normally like five or whatever thousand dollars no it's not so this is a piece you must buy on sale do not pay full price for it it is beautiful but there's lots of ones like say at Aritzia that are very good dupes that are still high quality so only buy this if it's on sale but it is beautiful like every time I wear it I do feel very special like it it really is like a cuddly teddy bear um, so Yes, it's worth it, but not for full price. And just for reference, I got a size small. I have a video uh, about this one. I will say every time I put this on, it just feels like a very special coat. It's so silky on the inside. It just feels like a great big hug. I really, I don't know. I really, really like it. I find um, the one thing where you can kind of tell um, how this is the authentic one and not a dupe is the back. It goes like that. You know what I mean? Lastly, this is another investment piece. This is from Acne Studios. This is a wool coat. I have it in a very dark green. It almost looks black in some light. I love this coat. Again, it's quite expensive. I did get it at Holt Run Through. It was a little bit on sale. I think, you know, I still paid 800 and something. So it was an expensive coat, but I love it. It fits me perfectly. I got a size 36, fits me perfect. The shoulders are great. I put my boyfriend onto this brand. He has two wool jackets like this now. I think he got, um, he got a brown one and a navy blue. He looks so handsome in both of them. They fit him perfectly as well. He says every time he wears it to work, like men and women compliment him. It's just such a smart jacket. It looks nice dressed up. It looks also great dressed down. Can put a hoodie under it. Sometimes how my boyfriend wears his navy one. Beautiful. It's so soft, not itchy. This, like when you feel this, this is like, oh my God, this is good quality. I think the only thing that is missing from my wardrobe that I would really like is a black um, Acne Studios leather jacket. I used to have tons of leather jackets. I sold them all. I'm pretty good. If I'm not using something, I sell it, get the money back, and get something that I like. Something I have learned over the years is with coats and jackets, they can last you really a lifetime. Like I have jackets in my closet that are from 15, 20 years ago. I still wear all the time. They were expensive at the time, but I still love them. A lot of these things can be very timeless, like a jean jacket, a plain black coat, a camel color coat, right? So my, in my opinion, save up for the item that you really want. Like if you want the Max Mara teddy bear coat, 
put $500 aside every year and get it. You're still going to want it three years from now, especially if you live in a cold climate like we do here in Canada. You're going to need a coat like that. Don't, you know, just keep buying things. At Zara's great, but it adds up, right? So if you really, really want that thing, you can, you can get there. Also too, if you don't travel yourself, if you have like a family member or someone that you work with that's going to another country under normal circumstances, a lot of times you can save big on pieces like that. So set the money aside, give them the money, and you know, a lot of times you can get cash back um, before you exit the country too. So just little tips to keep in mind. Um, hope you guys like that. Maybe I put you onto some new things that you might want for Black Friday coming up or Christmas. And yeah, until next time.